All right, so good morning, good evening, everyone. Um, and welcome to our Zeek community call of this month. And let's let's see, let's go about the round table and see if we have any updates. So um, Johanna, would you like to share any updates from the Zeek LT side? Sure, so I think the largest update from the Zeek LT is, um, as you probably heard by now, we um, had to cancel um, Seek Week for this year, which um, was a difficult and sad decision for everyone involved. Um, essentially, we looked at the number of registrations that we had last week, and um, we were at less than 10 um, external people um, registered at that point of time. And we um, did a bunch of um, statistics and looked at how registrations over time for our past events starting um, in 2013 happened, but for a bunch of them went, and they were all pretty similar. And um, we came to the conclusion that um, we would very probably not have enough attendees for a um, su successful Seek Week. Um, and um, that it would be better to cancel the, for everyone involved to cancel the event um, to save funds. And it's a, really a ton of work for us to do something like that. Um, and we are considering um, what to learn out of this and how to go ahead with future events. We sent out, um, you probably saw the cancellation announcement in which we asked for feedback. We would be very happy if you are interested, if you could provide feedback, because we will use this to shape what kind of events and how we do events in the future, because at the moment we are not entirely sure what um, we are going to um, honestly do after this. And um, yep, that's kind of what has kept the Seek LT busy since the last time, since the last community meeting. And if anyone has any questions about this or comments, I'm happy to try to answer questions or listen to comments. Thanks, Johanna. Are there any questions for Johanna or for Zeek LT in general? Okay, if not, then I'll move ahead and I'll ask Christian if there are any updates on the big open source project side of the things. Sounds good, Johan. Uh, sorry, I said Johanna. <laughs> I say, sounds good, Fatima. Thank you. Before I say anything else, I wanted to let everybody know that Fatima is now a doctor. So congratulations are in order. Very cool, Fatima. Round of applause. I don't know if anybody here is willing to unmute, but congratulations. Super exciting. Big deal. Um, I also wanted to follow up on what Johanna just said. So one, one, one plan or one idea that we have is to basically use the somewhat bizarre situation that we were looking at a really strong technical program, but not enough uh, sort of, you know, audience um, to um, beef up the community call. And we're basically going around and asking the people who submitted calls, um, uh, proposals, talks, um, if they're willing to give them here in this venue, which I think would actually be a really nice use of this. Um, so we'll see where that lands. So that's, that's, exciting stuff. Uh, on the technical side, not too much to talk about right now. We are in the final days before the fork of the first uh, Zeek 7 RC. It will most likely happen on Monday or Tuesday. Um, there were a couple things that took a little bit longer to land than planned, mainly all around sort of final loose bits around the telemetry revamp that is in Zeek 7. Um, meaning that you know some things trickle down into broker um, because there's this new sort of shift into the, the main thrust of telemetry living in Zeek itself and, and so forth. So some of this just took a little bit longer, but I think it's all getting there and we're looking at uh, next week. So that is a reminder to tell folks that if you're happy and willing and able to test our release candidates, now is a good time to do so. This is usually folks who either are pretty hands-on with Zeek or who have you know um, sort of a spare cluster sitting around somewhere where they can deploy a release candidate and just sort of run it for a couple of days to see how it behaves. If memory behavior is the same, if C 
CPUs is the same if anything crashes and, and so forth. We're always looking for more people there. We have always testing subgroup and always are looking for more members there. Let's see, was there anything else? Um, no, I think that's pretty much all I have right now. The next community call will be much more detailed about this because hopefully at this point, Zeek 7 will either be out or at least we can talk about the features that are in it in a little bit more detail. And that will be on me and I look forward to doing that. So thank you and back to you, Dr. Fatima. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. Um, are, there any, are there any questions for Christian on the open source side of the update? All right, if not, then you guys know where to find us. And lastly, I actually wanted to give some updates on the Zeek training side. So um, we are still working on getting this training together for the NS NSF Cybersecurity Summit that is going to happen in October um, in at CMU. So hopefully if you guys were looking forward to um, the Zeek training um, for the Zeek week, Pretty much similar training will be happening um, in the October. We might have some more time to do some updates with the new release candidate and whatnot. So um, we are still planning to host an in-person Zeek training, both um, the advanced scripting that Ashish hosts and the um, intermediate to Zeek where we do the production Zeek cluster um, deployment and installation and whatnot in our intermediate Zeek training. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will also, uh, that will, is that, that is still on the table and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys who are interested in Zeek training in October. Um, with that, I think that's pretty much from the update side of the things. Are there any questions, comments, feedback, out of curiosity, need to know kind of things that people would like to ask at this point? Okay, if not, um, is there any general trivia if if people would like to share anything uh, with their Zeek cluster, Zeek experience so far, or in general, anything about their life, happy to hear. Okay. Uh, 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 sorry, I'll get, ah, scatterbrained. Uh, there's been, I think, a couple of questions on Slack, and there may even be something slightly broken related to the Prometheus thing. I, I know there's been a ton of work done recently uh, on this regard, and I wonder if we're due maybe something like a blog post or something talking about just like what we're doing and why we're doing it and the benefits yeah, yeah, totally. I, I can, I can. Thank you, Justin. It's, it's a spot on question. So yeah, we're, we're digging through those things. Um, uh, so the, the, maybe just to cover the reason why we're doing this, and this is, this is one of the steps we're taking to rip stuff out of broker that yeah. we argue had, should historically, like, with the benefit of hindsight, should never have been in there, sort of. And, and taking those things out and basically shrinking broker back down to just being a, a pops up a messaging subsystem will enable us to swap it out for other things, which is exciting. And Arna has already prototyped and sort of working toward. Um, and so the, the shift is that the, the actual implementation of telemetry of metrics and so forth has all shifted into Zeek. And so that's moved a bunch of things around. Um, and so I would hope that the, most of the stuff that you're seeing or that people have been um, observing is, is due to that. Um, but it goes pretty deep. So for example, in the past, we had sort of different takes on aggregation of metrics across the cluster. We're sort of outsourcing all of this to Prometheus at this point. So there's a bunch of stuff in flight and and um, there would have been a Zeek Week talk. <laughs> so, so that will now either happen here and minimally there will be blog posts, um, at least one, maybe actually two, depending on sort of like the broker angle versus telemetry in general. Um, and it would be helpful for us to know more about how people are currently using telemetry and what is in there that is working well for them or what they're hoping to see. And this can go from like sort of the high level of how you get your telemetry to down to like individual metrics that might not be in there yet um, and, and, and other things. So big topic, um, short answer to your question. Absolutely, yes, there will be more sh uh, shared about how that will work in Zeek 7. Cool. Yeah, thanks for asking. Great question. And thank you for joining. We haven't seen you in a in a while. It's good. Oh yeah, I <laughs> was doing the moving, but have been moved. Yeah. So yeah. Oh awesome. Cool. Glad to hear it. Thanks. Awesome.
Thank you, Justin. Are there any other questions or comments? Okay, if not, um, yeah, feel free to reach out to us on, on Slack channel, on email list, whichever uh, mode of communication you prefer. And we will be more than happy to get back to you if you have any questions in future in general about the Zeek project or um, what we are doing. And I think with that, uh, we can get rest of the half hour of our lives back. And I'll hope to see you guys in next month's um, community call. So thank you so much for joining again. And I hope you guys have a rest, uh, good, good rest of your day. So thank you so much, guys. Take care. Thanks, folks. <laughs>